This forecast is powered by Burgess Awning, South Jersey's family owned and operated awning shop. And a very happy Monday evening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the day. We did have some sunshine out there. It extended back to my house in Blackwood. It was through Deadford Township. It was down into Vineland, Millville, Bridgeton, Egg Harbor Township, and I think we got probably three or four hours of decent sunny skies in this afternoon. So that's good news. That drove up our temperatures here locally around 80 degrees. Now, as we take a look at these numbers across the nation, Mind you, we have a big time cold front coming through, so folks in Detroit and Cincinnati are much cooler than everybody else because they're on the flip side of that front. Out ahead of it, still warm, still kind of muggy. 77 for the nation's capital, 72 for New York. Our dew points, look how dry this air is. Eight degrees in Salt Lake City. That's got to be really incredible. 16 in Denver, but you get to our neck of the woods and we are still in the lower 60s at this hour. Currently sitting at 63 in Hamilton, 65 in Mays Landing, 64 in Millville and Bridgeton. There is the yellow on the other side of the Delaware River. That's going to start to funnel down into our uh, direction overnight. And by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to feel really good out there. Clouds and sun mixed together. Some puffy fair weather cumulus clouds out over uh, the Great Egg Harbor River in Mays Landing earlier on. Officially, we got up to 81 as our high dew point of 65. That's not the highest we've been. Certainly, no, we've been up to 80 degrees for dew points this summer season, so that's not too bad. South southeast winds at about eight miles an hour. It really wasn't that windy. I think the winds are going to start to pick up tonight and as we go into tomorrow and especially Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as we have a storm system that's going to be skirting by off to the east. I'll get there in a second. 57 tonight, cloudy and cool. There will be some areas of rain. Not that big a deal, though. We have a cold front, and the problem is the rain hasn't been moving from west to east. It's been moving from southwest to northeast, kind of riding along this front, and a lot of it is going to fizzle out tonight. I think you'll see some scattered showers overnight and whatnot, but uh, I wouldn't count on that busting the deficit by any means. Later on in the week, I think we'll have a better opportunity. We'll have cloudy skies tomorrow, some sunshine mixing in there from time to time, a lot like today. It's going to look very similar to what we saw out there today. It's just going to be cooler and uh, less humid as well. Here we are on Wednesday morning. Now, this is exciting in terms of rain, because if this comes together, Guys, we could be talking one to two inches of rain for some of you. We're hoping this can materialize. I like where this model goes. Put some heavy rain out in Salem County where they need it. Our farmers definitely need the rain out there into Gloucester County as well, northern Delaware. And this whole area is in a short-term moderate drought stage. So we need a couple inches of rain, and that would be fantastic. Looks like some showers will continue into uh, most of South Jersey. Now, we have to see if that precipitation shield is going to extend that far to the north and west. After all, our center, our storm, is going to probably be over 150 miles to our east. Now, this is a very slow moving storm. It has nowhere to go. You have an area high pressure up here blocking it, and it's going to take its sweet old time going to the north. And the issue with this is we're going to keep our wind stacked in off the ocean out of the northeast for several days on end. And that is going to be an issue when it comes to tidal flooding. Now, this isn't a particularly bad storm. In fact, the pressure looks to stay over a thousand millibars. It's kind of weak. But where you get the strong winds is with the pressure gradient. So that happens when you have a blocking high to the north and that storm coming up from the south. And the pressure difference creates this gradient. And high tries to get to low. In the middle here, you have this river of air, sort of, right? It's like this funnel. And you get high winds from Boston to New York, along the Jersey Shore, down until Delmarva. And even with a weak storm, you can still get gusts to over 40 miles an hour. And that is going to continue to push water to the west. Think about the waves that are created, all propagating to the west. So I do think that there will be a tidal flooding situation going into at least Wednesday afternoon and then beyond, especially if we keep the winds out of the northeast. We are rapidly heading into the full moon cycle. That's on the 13th. The tides are already astronomically high as a result of that full moon. 
you add in another one to two feet storm surge on top of that. And yeah, I think there will be some areas that probably get to moderate flooding late in the day on Wednesday. So we will watch that very closely. I know how near and dear to your heart that is from Atlantic City down to Cape May up to LBI Beach Haven. We got you covered. All right, we'll hope for the best, but if it looks like it's going to stay on course, then we'll obviously get you prepared. 68 tomorrow, mainly cloudy skies, some passing showers. It's not going to be a, a big thing. Maybe in the morning, maybe a couple spritzes in the afternoon. I think the better chance of rain comes in on uh, Wednesday. 65, passing multiple showers are likely, even some periods of heavy rain out there. So we'll watch that very closely. Your seven day forecast is going to show you temperatures that are actually where they should be for this time of the year. It looks like the clouds are going to win out more often than not right into the weekend. Temperature at 70 on Saturday, around 70 on Sunday and Monday. It's average. I don't know what this feels like. Have yourselves a great night.